Hi, uh, my name is Ishan. Uh, I support the CEO's office uh, with like people projects and I take care of employer branding as well on LinkedIn. You know, the team here at Shopback, like the people team, are, we are super um, Shopbacker oriented, so it's like user oriented. Uh, we really want to create like unique experiences for, for our Shopbackers all the time. And we also want to um, ensure that their needs are, are being met. Uh. So we do take, you know, like power surveys, engagement surveys to kind of get a sensing of um, what they, what our shopbackers might need or what they are currently lacking in, in their work uh, such that they are not so engaged. So we really take uh, steps to address those pain points. There's a no meetings afternoon whereby people can actually focus on their work and um, this actually helps a lot because when we went through the part of pandemic where virtual calls were happening all the time, um, people started to realise they weren't able to you know, have time away and, and keep time to themselves to complete unfinished work. So there were calls like flying all over the place. So you know, with Flow Day implemented, we realised like, okay, actually, uh, is this meeting really necessary? If it's not, like, you know, can cut it out, something like this. Uh, and of course, uh, I think one thing that we also did is that we started working with Intellect, of course. So I think like we saw the need to actually provide support for our shop backers um, and providing a platform where they can actually reach out for help uh, when they need it. So it doesn't have to be uh, when our shop backers are in like critical condition and then uh, we provide them this, this platform, but it's a platform that is already there. Um, should they need it, then they can actually use it and be more resilient after that. Yeah. So um, we introduced the app, but the launch webinar itself is the one that manages to tell our shop backers like, how they can go about using the app, um, what does coaching mean. So I think on that note, a lot of people might not really understand what coaching means. And I think actually it's a super good term, by the way, because I think it's, it's a very good connotation of being like resilient, like building up on um, yourself and making yourself stronger rather than uh, something like therapy or something. So I think that was something that our shop backers appreciated as well. Uh, Shopback actually onboarded Intellect with all the markets that we are in. So that's actually nine markets. Uh, that would be Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia, Taiwan, Thailand, Australia, Vietnam and Korea. And so this has actually helped us a lot in the sense that um, the coaches available can all actually speak in like the traditional like local languages of these markets. So I think our employees actually feel like a bit more comfortable uh, when they're expressing like their feelings or um, they're talking about like more personal thoughts. They don't actually have to force themselves to speak in another language. They can actually speak in their own local languages and the coaches will be able to you know understand them perfectly fine and also be able to communicate uh, with them in a manner that feels you know more close to home and more personal. Shopback is a really like fast-paced like organization, which I honestly love. Um, but there are some times where I think it's good to reflect on the day and and think about what could have been improved, or um, maybe if I reacted in a certain way during like a meeting, or uh, why did I react in that way? Yeah, and, and I think the intellect journaling app really helps with that. And I know that um, there's a lot of prompts whereby. Uh, they can help you think a bit more. So I think I tend to be someone who doesn't really reflect a lot on like, okay, like how am I feeling today, you know? But I think the intellect app helps with that. So they'll be asking like, oh, how did you manage to solve this problem? Um, what do you feel uh, after that? So there are actually guided questions that help you to really like, okay, process this emotion and then like write it down. And it keeps it um, all very safe and confidential. So when you want to read back, you can also like track back on your, pro on your progress and like how you have progressed across the months. So I think that helps me personally a lot. Um, I also have heard some other shop backers using it. Uh, like I think a, a fellow shop backer, she pinged me on, on Slack one time and was like, okay, I need to go and use the intellect journaling app to calm myself down. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think definitely, very good use case. La. Yeah. We're very confident at the fact that Intellect is a very safe and confidential app to use. We can only see insights on a very broad basis. So even, you know, shop backers ourselves, like we can't actually pinpoint like, oh, this is the shop backer that's feeling not so good today. Um, but we can see overall, like how is the company doing? How are the people feeling this week? Which is, I think, important. So if there's anything um, critical, we can actually go and address it. But there's no pinpointing of like who the actual person is. Um, and it's really very safe for employees to use and not feel like, oh, if I use the coaching app, like someone will feel that, um, I'm not performing so well, not doing so well. So 
I think definitely no issues. It was a concern at the start, but I think after clarifying and reassuring our shop backers, um, it wasn't much of an issue after.